uh hello ladies and gentlemen so welcome into this video tutorial so what we need to do right uh in a visual studio code software right so we need to get this extension out where do you get it the live server which you are going to be using so live server we just search for live server so that whenever we we run our code right our html we run our html code right we'll be able to see the, our website more like okay <laughs> what can i say let's say we make a change in a in a in a head in, in a heading one right after writing maybe in get coding right then after just clicking save it will automatically show the result on the other part of the screen so let's just download this program so that we can test it out right so let's just wait for it this one is the live server this is the version which you need to install on your computer probably maybe i using a windows 7 or a 10 let's find out because this one is a windows 7 okay as you can see the software the, the extension sorry the extension is now installed right now let's go and test it out so what we need to do uh what i'm going to open a certain project which i've been working on okay let me just do this copy and paste the location then i'll select folder right <clears throat> let's wait for it then it will show up uh, we are continuing with our program right so what you need to do you just have to click on the left side of the screen right click on your mouse then open run open with live server and let's just wait for it to show up okay 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 can you do it quick don't disappoint me <laughs> okay it's loading it's loading okay so we need to approve everything here as you can see allow i have to allow it on private and public networks yeah let's just wait for it and in the background as you can see it has shown what i'm what a website which i'm working on a web page i mean so what i can do right i have to move this on the side right then i have to click here so that the, okay this is much more good for someone who have a larger screen <laughs> or two screens or maybe even now one screen we just act like this let's say it is on this side so maybe we need to do some quick changes as you can see now let's change where it says sign up or let me say okay let me just write login just like this as you can see on the other side it should have it should load so let me just click control save as soon as i click control save it will make some changes so what about if i run some changes on the css code right let's say i have removed this part of the code cut it out then i click control save there, there was a change but we, can, we can't notice it because this one is not effect so let me effective so let me just um go away i was editing okay let me just remove almost part of this code right let me just cut it and click control save as you can see everything will change instantly after cutting let me re retain it control save and it will have changed so this is how you use the live save and this is how you get it thank you for watching cheers bye for now